We're now going to talk about the second derivative test for functions of two variables. So suppose that AB is a critical point of F. And we want to try to decide whether it's a local minimum or a local maximum, or maybe neither. So we need to assume that the second partial derivatives, fxx, fxy, and fyy, are defined and continuous. in a neighborhood of this point. Now, in the single variable case, in that second derivative test, you just had one second derivative. And here we have three second derivatives. And there's also fyx, but that's the same as fxy. So, so what are we supposed to do with these? So we now put them together to make one number. So we define d to be the, the determinant of the matrix of second partial derivatives at AB. So I have fxx at AB, fxy at AB, fyx at AB, which of course is the same as fxy, and fyy of AB. So if we expand that out, it's fxx of ab times fyy of ab minus fxy of ab squared. So that's some real number. And here's what the second derivative test says. So if d is positive and if fxx is at ab is bigger than 0, then AB is a local minimum. If D is greater than zero, and FXX of AB is less than zero, then it's a local max. If D is less than zero, then it's a saddle point. which is neither a local min nor a local max. And in all other cases, the test is inconclusive. So it could be a local minimum or a local maximum or neither. So there it is. Now, what's going on here? What is this mysterious number d? And why does the test look like this? Well, here's a remark for those of you who have seen linear algebra before. And if you haven't seen linear algebra, then just ignore this. So what we're doing is we're looking at the eigenvalues of the matrix d. Since the matrix, sorry, the matrix of second partial derivatives. And since this matrix is symmetric, its eigenvalues are real. This first case is where both eigenvalues of the matrix are positive. The second case is where both eigenvalues are negative. And the third case is where the eigenvalues, one is positive and one is negative. And 
the remaining cases are where there's a zero eigenvalue. Um, okay, now those of you who have not seen linear algebra before can tune back in. All right, so note also, it might look strange that we've singled out fxx here and not fyy. Like, what's special about x versus y? Well, you'll notice that when d is greater than zero, if we look at this expression for d, if this is positive, then fxx and fyy must have the same sign, and they must be non-zero, because we're taking the product and then subtracting something greater than or equal to zero. So if d is positive, then either both fxx and fyy are positive, or fxx and fyy are negative. Okay, so hopefully that makes a little more sense. Now, this is a little hard to remember, so let me show you the three basic examples which explain why the test looks like this. So the first example is f of xy equals x squared plus y squared. And a, b is 0, 0. OK, so here fx equals 2x, fy equals 2y, fxx equals 2, fyy equals 2, and fxy equals 0. So D is the determinant of the matrix. So now we have to evaluate this at 0, 0. Well, it actually doesn't matter because these are constants. But anyway, the matrix is 2, 0, 0, 2. So this determinant is 2 times 2 minus 0 times 0, which is 4, which is positive. And also fxx and fyy are both positive. So looking back at the test, we see that when D is positive, and fxx is positive, that's a local minimum, which of course it is, because this is a, the graph of f is a paraboloid. Okay, the second basic example is f of xy equals minus x squared minus y squared. And again, a, b equals 0, 0. So here the calculation is the same, except all of these derivatives have the opposite sign from before. So now d is the determinant of the matrix minus 2, 0, 0, minus 2. But this is still 4, which is positive. But now these diagonal entries of the matrix are negative instead of positive. So going back to the test, we see this is the second case where the determinant is positive, but fxx is negative. And so the test tells us that this is a local max, which of course it is, because if we draw the picture of the graph, then it's an upside down parabola like this. And the third example is f of xy equals y squared minus x squared, and a, b equals 0, 0. So here fxx, sorry, fx is minus 2x, fy is 2y, so fxx equals minus 2, fyy equals plus 2, fxy equals 0, so D is the determinant of the matrix minus 2, 0, 0, 2, which is minus 4, which is negative. So this is the third case of the test where D is negative, and that tells us that it's a saddle point. So it's neither a local maximum nor a local minimum, and we know that because the graph of this function is the hyperbolic paraboloid.
which looks like this. So these three basic examples will help you remember what the test says.